I'm Bill McDonald. Today, along with the head coach of the L.A. Lasers, Peter Waugh, we've got a great matchup for you. Two of the best teams in the far west region in collegiate soccer, UCLA and USF. Both teams coming off of 2 nothing victories. Last Wednesday, UCLA defeated UC Irvine, and on Friday night, Cal State L.A. was the victim of the USF Dons. And Coach Peter Wall, this is a key game for both teams when it comes to postseason action consideration. Yeah, it really is, Bill, because uh, over the past 16 years, uh, one or the other has represented the West in the NCAA championships. And I think it's more of a mind game. If you win this game or this series, uh, then you go into the postseason uh, with a lot of confidence. All right, let's meet both teams, the UCLA Bruins and the USF Don. Talked about Kenny Boardman, the great defender out of Nigeria. Kenny Boardman, born in Nigeria. He's a senior and an All-American candidate. Now makes his home in San Francisco, living downtown, he was telling me before the game. A moment ago, you saw maybe the flags on the outer skirt of the uh, field blowing rather briskly, so the breeze... Kenny Boardman out of the back. Still no score. Hooker. Trying to muscle around Boardman. Here's a good opportunity, but it's headed away right in front of Mark Powell. Brown, Kenny Boardman. Silvis with a chance. He'll cross it. He's out in front. And it's just oh, shot wide. UCLA with two good opportunities. First of all, Hooker missed the head, and then the shot went wide by Brown. And you can see he's dangerous. Hooker with his back to the goal where he operates the offense. Great end. with him. Over 100. Really put it on the uh, on the map as far as public soccer goes. Kenny Boardman is trying, however. Now Kenny Boardman. Repeat of Boardman. Thomas back quickly. Shows his strength. Yeah. He was right there. They went down the outside, but it was uh, unfortunately not a very good cross. Boardman on a run out of the back. Has some space. Boardman with the left foot. That was a nice break forward with Boardman. You know, he's done it two or three times, and he's looked dangerous each time. But uh, again, this still, you know, had great hands there. He didn't. Yeah, I think that's the big one. Now the left side again for the USF. Over the top of Boardman. That time they didn't. Satisfied with the 0-0 zero, zero tie and uh, maybe UCLA not so happy. Boardman. Two 10-minute overtimes, correct. They are not sudden death. So Kenny Boardman down the left-hand side. So uh, it looks like we're on course for overtime. Yeah, it looks like we're going to play uh, an extra 20 minutes in this game. And we'll see if somebody can get a chance in that, too. Ah, we still have 14 minutes to go. Yeah. Oh, the second half. Yeah. Ill advised pass. That was a nice attack. You know, they got down the outside again, and uh, unfortunately, you see right there. Was not get it to him. That was a great attack, and uh, again, you know, Calajiri came out of the back over that great pass from Hoka, and unfortunately, uh, the cross wasn't as good. Tough one on one marking by UCLA. <laughs> And he gets it to Silvis, who will leave it for Skavarna. Skavarna, not a good move at all around Boardman, who takes it away easily. Now we'll play it back for Boardman. So some anxious moments for UCLA, but USF couldn't get the opportunity they were looking for. Now Boardman on one of his runs. Good opportunity in the opening moments of the second half time for UCLA. We go the other way with the Dons. Impressive in the two overtimes after uh, being a ghost, really, in the first uh, half and most of the second half. I think he's getting a little bit more space now. The marking is not so, quite so tight, and uh, he can do the things that he's good at. And time and time has just about expired as Mark Powell takes it, and that's it. The game.